Hey folks, welcome back to Rough Night Gaming. I'm Marcus. Going solo today, no Travis around. Uh, we are going to continue to play Earthbound. It's been... It's been a while. I've been on hiatus uh, leveling up. I've been grinding for the past two weeks, so I've been, been able to upload, right? That's it. <clears throat> no, I am kidding. But we made it to level 20 in a little bit of grinding that I did. Got some more hit points, some more Psy, some more of these other things, and also got Flash. I don't know, I don't really use these Psy effects as much. I just use it for the healing. But this says it generates a strong Flash, can make enemies dart crying uncontrollably, and in some circumstances feel strange. I don't know what that means, but it's kind of expensive and costly, so I'm not really going to use it. Also, most importantly, I think, is we got Life Up Beta which heals for 300 points. I don't even have anywhere near 300 points, but I now have the ability to heal up to 300 points. Which is pretty rad. Uh, last time we ended off, we ended in the town of Tucson. And we've got this way to go, which this guy says that there's a place ahead that can't be painted, painted blue. Which is a strange anti blue place. Can't stop thinking, I can't even go near that place. But I think I want to go this way. We've got a couple ways to go. A couple of caves. Uh, I think that this is gonna... Oh, alright, here's a baddie. Cultist. I'm guessing that this way is going to... Oh, also, sorry. I did a little bit of shopping. I had a uh, slingshot, which I got rid of because I felt that it missed a lot. But here I am, missing with my baseball bat. I uh, got rid of the slingshot, got a uh, baseball bat, which upped my attack a little bit. And I also bought... I think a bracelet and a new cap, like a new ball cap that pumped up my defense a little bit. So we're much better off than we were last time we left because last episode featured a lot of dying, a bit of frustration on my part. So I did a little bit of um, off camera cleaning up, if you will. Um, I sent some items to my sister. So, oh, I'll just. Oh. That was unfortunate timing on my part. <clears throat> sent some items to my sister. I sent the broken machine. I sent... I might have sent even... Uh, we can auto-fight these guys, I think. I don't think I need to do anything too crazy. But uh, I sent the broken machine, because I'm hoping that there'll be some block of dialogue that'll tell me when I need to use it, and then I, I can just get it at that point. I believe I sent the town map home, because... I don't know why. I guess I can go get it if I need it, but... <clears throat> inventory space is so valuable in this game, it seems like, that I, I want to keep as many slots available open as possible. But I'm thinking that this is going to lead me to a house that I saw. Yes, this is where I thought I would wind up. I don't know what it is, but we will find out. Maybe it's the creeper's house where... Um, my gal pal is being held. It's just a shack in the woods. Oh, it is! I was not actually anticipating that. This is messed up. Who are you, Azo? Azo, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Azo was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe, therefore I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door. You have to get the key from the car painter. He's got it hidden away. Iron car painter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? Oh. I'll wait here until you return. Come back here and get me once you defeat car painter. Don't worry. Just kick butt. I know you can. Wow. She is imprisoned in the woods here. Let's see. Uh, handkerchief. Let's see if I can just go to my goods and equip it from there. Franklin badge. Um, is it an equipable thing? Badge, badge, badge. Equip. Other? No. Um, hmm. Maybe I just have it. Maybe just something I carry around. I think she's got a teddy bear in there too. Oh! What's going on out here? Better confront these guys. Hey Azo, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey. Whoa. Pokey? Since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person, 
and happy happyism. You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm just glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, potato. Pokey? Jeez. Let's just start bashing. So I think Pokey probably had some uh, resentfulness maybe towards his brother about being the, the older brother that was underappreciated. And now that Gygus is here warping everybody's evil thoughts into uh, manifesting in physical actions and bad decisions, he's decided to join... Um, I guess this is probably close, like a sect of the sect of Scientology. Maybe I don't know. I'm hoping for some eyes wide shut action um, back at that house where there's a bunch of the blue cultists everywhere. Because actually, in the eyes, ah, Pokey, get back here, you son of a dang it! Uh, in eyes wide shut, I uh, watched it after a coworker lent it to me and said, like, oh man, there's so much symbolism, it's awesome. <laughs> and it is awesome, but I had to, like, read a couple of articles to pick up on all the subtleties, and they mention, um, let's go to this anti-blue place, and they mention, um, the Christmas lights, and where there's Christmas lights, it's, it holds significance in the scene, so I bet you you can draw parallels to where there's, obviously, blue paint, and, um, people wearing blue to the, the likeness of the Christmas lights. And eyes wide shut. So this way, down this tunnel, I don't know where it's going to go, but he says that there's a place that refuses to be painted blue. But I don't think Mr. Carpenter's this way. So I'm a little worried that this is kind of a roundabout way to go, not the way I want to be. I'm all playing rough. So I don't know if um, the bit of leveling up that I did uh, significantly impacted my stats, because I feel much more capable than I had previously in the other area. Uh, that could also be because that area was just hard. Um, lots of guys suck in your... Oh man, I was... <laughs> Lots of guys sucking your pee-pee over there. Uh, if you don't have any pee-pee, then it's just gonna... It's gonna be a bad day. But, that being said, if you don't have access to your site, you don't have access to heal, or... Um, a multitude of attacks and stuff, so... Oh, okay, these guys are a little better. Let's, let's focus up here. I do like the background here, it's kind of trippy. Trippy gold stuff. Um, see, this is all I really use my site for because it's just so limited. I've only got 60, and there are a multitude of enemies who drain you of it. So it's hard to... It's hard to feel confident and comfortable using it um, just as attacks and stuff like that, because I don't see it as being that much stronger than just a physical attack. I think the biggest benefit is that it, it, it can hit multiple people, right? And I backed off, did not work. Attacks, I just missed. I don't feel like I'm hitting that much more with this. I was hoping that. Oh, I've definitely noticed an uptick in crits. But I thought that this would be more accurate than my slingshot. Ooh. I wonder what's in this creepy cave. A great charm inside. Let's take a look. Well, I guess we go to equip here. Yeah. Defense by one, why not? Oh, you guys, ugh. So I wonder why they made the, the developers decided to have the enemy generate just based on like a frame by frame thing where you can literally go outside, erase them, and come back and they won't be there. Or to where there's nobody there and you're training or whatever and you want there to be people there. I did notice while I was grinding that there was a section that the um, it's, uh, yeah, the magical butterfly he seemed to populate in a certain area so you know 
just kind of do a little bit of training in and around that place, and you can kind of count on them repopulating every so often, uh, as long as you're stuck around that area. They seem less random than the enemy placement does. But I wonder, that that was it seems like an interesting game mechanic to decide on and include in a game like this, but yeah, I guess you could go through almost the whole thing without with minimal battle encounters here. All right, so let's see what else we got. Oh, a bear? Jesus. I'm afraid I might be in over my head. Like, maybe I should deal with the cult and then just explore the cave? I'm not sure. Croissant? Fantastic. Alright, I'm a little nervous to... Alright, alright. A little nervous to go down to the lower levels because I see that there's giant bears there. But I guess we've been fighting giant trees. So... We'll, we'll see how that pans out. croissants. Throw something away. I don't know what's better, a croissant or a banana, so I'll just keep my bananas. <clears throat> I guess I'll eat some stuff because they're giving me things, so let's go to my goods here. Let's have a croissant. Oh, well. And I haven't found any items that give me more psi power, you know? That would be beneficial. Because I have a significant amount of money. That, like thousand plus dollars. But I don't see a ton of stuff to spend it on. My inventory is limited. And I don't know how they interact with each other. Like, I know back in Tucson, because uh, I guess we're not in Tucson, we're in Happy Happy Valley. Back in Tucson, they had a, a stand that had spices and stuff that you could add to your, add to your meals to enhance them, I would assume. But I don't know how that mechanic works, and I'm a little nervous to try it. Uh, so maybe I'll explore it. Okay, all right. Let's, let's see how that. Whoop. Actually, he's by himself. We'll try it. We'll we'll see how hard this is here. I think getting a one-on-one -on -one with uh, Smokey the Bear is better than. Uh, let's let's go all out a little bit here. Let's let's see what we can do. Let's give us a shield. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best idea, is to buff myself and then... Well, then I'll get a sense of, uh... How many hit points he has, I suppose. Nine. Okay. I think that shield negates 50% of it, so... Oh, okay. He's not that bad. He doesn't explode and deal 300 points of damage like that stupid tree does. Which I'm confused about, because it says he explodes, does a ridiculous amount of damage. But never does it seem that you die from it. So, I'm assuming that Guts plays into that somehow, but, again, I don't really... There's a lot to this game, guys, and I'm just... I'm just a player. I'm just a player in the game. Lots of missing going on. Oh, alright, maybe he's hitting a little bit harder now. Good thing there's a, um... Magic Butterfly right, right here I can heal myself with. Get some free healing in. This one, this one. All right. So this has to lead somewhere. It has to lead somewhere that refuses to be engulfed in blue. Somewhere that will not be corrupt by the cultists. Oh my god. That's that's too much. I guess I could try my magic. Oh, we'll pick him off one at a time. I figured it was going to be a four-on-one there. Um, hmm. I felt that shield was a good use of my... I don't know, we'll bash. Well, let's, let's take him one attack at a time here. Because the Mighty Bears don't seem to have the greatest accuracy, so... Oh, 48. Jeez. 
I think we got off lucky on that one. Oh yeah, they're just giving it to me one at a time. I can do this, for sure. Yeah, that was my fear, that I was gonna have to take on two bears, two bats. I don't know if the section before this, to get from Tucson to Happy Happy Valley, was just like extremely brutal, or... Oh, green, sneak attack. Kaboom. Because it seemed like they would always have uh, multiple enemy encounters. It would be the spinny robot and the shiny alien creature from the future who would give you status effects and all that stuff. I don't know. The area from before just seemed uh, extremely rough. Let's, let's heal up here. Then again, maybe I'm just getting a better gauge for uh, survivability and not expecting to survive everything anymore. Let's see, this is... Hmm. Alright, well, let's get up here. Oh, there's a present over there. That's probably where I should go. I'm excited to get a second party member, finally. I feel like it's been a good chunk of the game all by myself. And even my friends have turned on me. The... Teddy bear? Whoa, that's huge. Real life power rocket beta. That, wow, that's a big drop. Let's eat some bananas, because I like to keep an inventory slot open, so I don't have to just drop things. We can have two bananas. That, yeah, that's a banana. I had to double, <clears throat> double take, make sure it didn't say bandana, because I don't want to eat a bandana. Oh, it loops around to the same spot, it looks like. Ah, so this one looks like... Oh, again, I thought the bear was rushing over to jump in, but... Again, it's fine by me. I don't know if they dish out experience points by... Like, multiplied by the number of guys that you're fighting, or if it's literally just... You'll get the same experience <laughs> if you fight one mole and then another mole and then another mole, or if you get more experience for a, a three mole encounter. I, that's I feel like that's how it should be. Obviously, that's, that's going to be way harder than just fighting one than the other than the other. But I don't know how this game breaks it up. Oh, I was hoping to sneak up on him. Do 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 do. Let's see, we bought a teddy. Um, we bought a teddy before, but we never really got a gauge for how much hit points it has. It got beat up pretty fast. Psy Caramel? There is an item that is worth keeping. That is good. I d uh, damn it. <laughs> I was. Right, let's see if this works. I haven't really used this that much to. Ugh, oh, alright, that's fine. Because you never really, like, clear a map this way, I guess. You can never feel, like, safe running back to a point that you had already come to because of the fact that you fought all the enemies on the way there. No more teddy bear. Oh. Ooh. Let's see here. Let's just take a second here. No, no problem here. Oh, I have to talk to it. You finally got here. This is your second Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Mondo Mall. This guy looks like a fucking... No, 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 no. Let's, let's start out with, uh... Some of these. Oof. Good thing we threw up that shield. Alright, um, do we want to try any more Psy, or do we want to save it for healing?
Um, yeah, I didn't think so. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's start bashing. Just bash and heal and bash and heal. It tore into me. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh, man. That was completely unexpected. Okay. I'm pretty sure that... Oh, he's using offense? Oh, this is bad. I'm at 19. I think I'm gonna pop a shield again. Oh, give me two life ups left. Ah, I was not prepared for this fight. I don't think it's gonna... I don't think it's gonna end well. Because I've only attacked him like once or twice, and I doubt that he's... Ah, oh, Jesus. that I have, uh, I've got the, oh, I only got 84 out of that one? And he just keeps pumping up his offense. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna end well. Ah! Oh, he cast shield. I mean, became stronger? Whoa, I didn't know he could do that. I'm not aware that you could keep pumping your shield up. Ugh. Oh. This guy is just brutal. He's got a whole bunch of tricks, too. Alright, alright, alright. My hit point numbers just keep... Oh my god, 106. Oh, um... Here goes nothing. Oh, yes! Wow! First try. I got super lucky that he kind of dicked around with casting a bunch of spells and stuff. Eight hit points. Not enough psi power to do anything with. No healing items to speak of. Whew. Oh, man. Felt like the game uh, took pity on me and kind of gave me that one. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Dithered away. Let's see if we do have any, like a banana or anything. I have a cold remedy. Uh, I have a side caramel. Well, let's see what's uh, up this way. Hopefully, it's a town that. There's the footsteps. Those footsteps were mentioned before. I was imagining them being bigger, just based on. <gasps> shh, shh, shh. Ooh, I wonder if I'm gonna have a vision here. Azo briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Azo's soundstone recorded the melody of the Lilliput Steps. Let's see, baby in a red cap. That was my second vision. Let me take. I'm going to take a look at my notes here. I think I wrote down what my first vision was. A small, cute puppy was my first vision. Baby in a red cap. Second vision. Noting it. Red cap. Okay, I mean, I'm wearing a red cap. And I'm a baby. I'm not a baby, I'm kidding. A kid, a kid. Alright, so... Let's get back. I guess we could just die. And have it take us back. To the last thing we saved at. Because we're not going to be able to defeat anything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Unless things run away from us now. I forget. Because on the first giant step, I remember after you defeat... defeat oh, never mind. Guess we uh, are saved after all. Let's get some of that. Some of that good stuff. Oh, man. And, uh... My psi power is uh, maxed out from that one butterfly. Normally, it's like 20 or something. Which is way higher. And, let's see. The, yep, runs away from you. Okay. I couldn't remember if somebody had told me that, or if I had noticed it before, but it seems that after you defeat the boss of the area, all the enemies turn tail and run from you on the way back, which is uh, really nice. It gives you the option of fighting on the way back, if you want. And it, like, getting a sneak attack on them and stuff. Or just heading straight back, which 
I think I'm gonna do. And I'm fully healed, which is awesome. Um, I think I'm gonna call my sister and have her take some of this stuff. Or sell it. I think I'm gonna sell it. Let's sell some stuff. I want to sell a travel charm. Because I have better stuff now. Um, no, I don't think I have actually anything that I want to give to my sister. I can get rid of the cold remedy. I forgot that I had um, Psy Power that can deal with it. Psy Carmel's pretty good. Uh, let's talk to Dad. Talk to... Talk to Dad. Whoa! $1,400. Oh man, I'm freaking loaded. Alright, that's all I needed. Continue on. I think we can get a, a few more things done here in this episode before we have to sign off. Uh, let's see where that giant... This guy's trying to bust people for um, stealing bananas. This lady says I should be struck down by lightning. I feel like I fought this guy. Blue, blue. I wish for everything in this world to become blue. Let's see. No, this lady that wants me struck, to be struck by lightning. This guy's... This guy's a nasty sex cultist. He trapped me. Oh, ugh, uh, alright. Oh man, alright. I do really dig the, the lo-fi, kinda chill, funky... Funky tunes that they have for uh, for battle and for a lot of the environmental stuff, but oftentimes the change of pace that they have going on in the fight scenes is pretty rad. I dig it. Turn back to normal. I wonder what these guys do after I quote unquote turn them back to normal. Do they just kind of take out their hood and they're like, "Oh, what have I been doing for the past?" Blah blah blah. You. Mr. Carcanter communicates with the Divine. He is able to deliver inspired messages. I'm not sure doing. Friends. In Valley. Behind three. Ding ding. Oh, okay. I don't know if that was a note on the door or somebody talking crazy. What's this guy with the mask? I don't think I've engaged with him. I think that blue cow will attack me. Talk to him. Psst, 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 psst. That overweight kid helped me. We kidnapped Nancy. You know, she's hiding in a mountain cabin. Oh, uh, now I've done it. I thought you were one of us. You, you know I was joking. <laughs> Just forget about this. Ooh, so that asshole, and Pokey, of all people. Uh, meager living farm. Lodging's available. Oh, so here's the hotel. I was looking for this thing earlier. I mean, I'm fine now, I don't need it, but... And there's two beds. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Which tells me that uh, I should be getting Nancy's bed. We're all like one big happy family here in Happy Happy Village. Basically, our policy is to only allow family members to stay here in the village. However, you are interested in learning about Happy Happyism. We may make an exception and let you stay $50 per night. Nope. I, never have I heard such disrespect. Get out and stay out. <laughs> There's a Bible under the bed. Can I check it? Can I talk to it? I bet you I can talk to it. I'm just plain old cow. Mr. Carpenter's messages always move me. Wah, 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 wah. So funny. Alright, alright. Where do I find Mr. Carpenter? What about you? What are you doing over here? Mr. Carpenter wants a girl. No, I don't mean like that. I mean, he's looking for a girl who can be the high priestess of happy happyism. Erdur's already got her. Oh my god. They're gonna sacrifice her and drink her blood. I'm gonna stop them. Though you may not believe me, I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Do you need some help? I don't, but that is good to know. So, that's probably what they look like with the funny hairdo, so I can look out for them in other situations. Ah, yeah, here's the doctors. Got it. I'm good, though. Oh, uh, 
this guy's gonna cost me. I better take care of him before we do anything else here. This has to be at this fancy place. I remember it was a lot bigger on the yes. He 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 yes. Here we are. And here we'll leave it. This is a this is an exciting place to end it and pick up next time. Uh, but for now, this has been Rough Night Gaming. I'm Marcus, and we'll see you next time.